One week after a deadly school shooting in Florida, Twin City students and their parents lived their own frightening ordeal. Orono schools were placed on lockdown for more than five hours today. Police say a high school student posted a threat on Twitter and Facebook this morning stating the Orono schools would get shot up at noon. They arrested him this afternoon and they consider another student to be a person of interest. Our Jeff Wagner spent a lot of time out at the school today. And Jeff, ironically, did a story just like this uh, yesterday, very similar. Yes, Frank, we did a report about copycat threats happening around the country. One of them almost happened in Egan, but was deemed not credible. But Orono police felt today's threat was credible. And they took the steps necessary to keep students and staff safe while also finding who was behind it. It almost doesn't seem real. But this frightening scene surrounding schools on lockdown in Orono was the reality for hundreds of parents anxiously awaiting outside. And this was the reality for the students, desks being used as barricades to keep their classroom doors secure. Parent Carlos Perez was so worried, he made his son prove he was safe by sending this picture. The only reason why we got that picture is because I told my boy, I need to see you. <laughs> I don't care about nothing else. Just let me see you and know that you're okay. Police say just before 11 a.m., they were tipped off about two threats on social media. On Twitter, a user named Anonymous Vector wrote, Orno is not safe. Today at noon, I will shoot up the school myself. Police felt it was credible. Due to the fact that it gave a specific time, a specific area of being in the school, and the content in that message. With help from other agencies, including the FBI, investigators determined the threat was made from inside the high school. That's why we held everybody in their position in the school until we could make that arrest. Police say the student suspect was found in a classroom without any weapons on him. He's being held on a felony terroristic threat charge. So for those that want to do this to get attention, there are consequences, serious consequences. Some parents feel criminal charges aren't enough. Well, honestly, I don't want them at the school anymore. So I would want them to be gone. School will go on as scheduled tomorrow. The district superintendent says there will be a crisis team in every building as well as a police presence. But she supports parents who would prefer to keep their kids at home for the day. Police say, or have you heard, freshman, sophomore, junior, any idea? They were not giving an age nor which specific classroom this student was in. But we do know, again, in a classroom. Okay. Jeff, thanks. Mm -hmm.